So what's the difference between research and development and innovation? I think it's an important question. Um, and, you know, I, it's taken me years to figure this out and I still perhaps maybe don't get it completely right. But research and development is really thinking about at, for a company, um, for a firm, for um, a government, for different agencies, of uh, how they go about of creating innovation. And innovation is much more broader terminology that's really focused on creating new products, services, um, things, ideas that are different to, to, to the world that, you know, can solve a problem, right? Or maybe it doesn't solve a problem, but, you know, there, there has to be, it's, it's kind of often thinking about a particular problem. Um, but, you know, the key is that innovation is a much more broader thing that in, incorporates you know, across individuals, you know, companies, organizations, a lot where they're doing things that are new and novel to to the world that people might not have thought about before. Or maybe it's, you know, maybe they thought about it, but they're innovating for themselves, right? So in the broader context, maybe they're just really focused on themselves. But research and development is very narrow um, in the sense that it's, it's talking about creating, um, you know, new knowledge. So, so research in of itself is creating new knowledge. Um, and then development is, you know, refining this knowledge or figuring out how to create practical applications, but not necessarily like just the practical application of it, but, you know, what existing thing that you already have, existing product or service that you already have and refining that and becoming better with um, that product, the, the, the product or service that you already have. And the goal is to really think about something that's, that's commercializable. But um, you know, research often is not commercializable, at least not in the short term. It can't, um, you know, often it can be, but um, in terms of when it occurs, it's, it's less defined, right? So the act of doing development is very much focused on something that occurs like tomorrow or you know maybe in the next 10 years you're trying to create something um but you know that's the 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 distinction is really thinking about the broader process so innovation is um i would say innovation incorporates a lot of different things right lots of themes of so whenever you do something that's new or novel it's it's not perceived very well for example um there is you know you have to create this new thing and then you have to go about of creating you know a coalition to get get it onto the market right so you have to build an audience to get it into the market so that people will actually create um want this thing um it's it's thinking about you know Things like design, for example, where you um, can actively um, engage people within within the process so that they become um, cognizant of this of this innovation. It's just a lot more of a broader process of not just specifically focusing on creating it, um, but it's also focused on you know how do you get it to be used. How do you, you know, how do people perceive it? Uh, all sorts of different things. So research and development, um, you know, one way to think about it is that you could spend money on research and development and, and that takes, you know, expenditures on research and development, but on the innovation side, you might not necessarily spend anything and, and do, you know, do well, or you might spend a lot and, it doesn't necessarily turn into something, right? Like you could spend an awful lot in research and development and you, you know, you create a new innovation, but it's not adopted in any sort of way, which is, you know, a different process of thinking about who it is and how they're, they're actually adopting this thing. Um, 
you know, in the broader context of how they're actually using it. So important distinction. Um, it might be sort of splitting hairs uh, in, in, you know, often they're sort of talking about the same thing. They overlap um, in a lot of ways, but, but really sort of thinking about things a little bit more broadly with innovation. And it's not always talking about, you know, t new technologies, but, but often it might be an innovation to how we speak, for example, right? Like something, a new way of speaking. Um, whereas research and development tends to be more commercializable focused um, and really much more focused on, on sort of a broader corporate scale, I guess. You know, like thinking about how corporations actually do this and what they spend on and thinking about their you know, product development budgets and all of those particular things, which are it definitely um, has a tone historically of more thinking of corporations and governments and things like that. Um, so, you know, with that, that's where I wanted to say, and I uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you, if you did enjoy this, please pass on um, about the reciprocity pro um, project. The podcast, YouTube, the um, especially about the platform that I'm trying to build. Um, you can check it out, reciprocity.com. The E is written with a three. And um, get out there and go do good, good stuff. All right, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye.